Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I have lots of home projects that I needed to get done and I filmed all of them for you. So I hope you're ready to get motivated and work on your space. But if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and we're gonna get started. So one of the home projects we need to do is over here. I didn't realize when we hung the wreath up here, it was gonna scratch Chase's building. Um, and it was up there all, you know, Christmas. So what, a month and a half or something that we probably were decorated for. And every time it was blowing, it was scratching it. And we don't actually have paint for this. Cause like when we ordered the building, it came like pre-painted. Now they had to get a color match to paint the garage door cause it came white and our side door. It's not the exact same color, but they're thinking it might look better once it's on this like shiny. So Chase is gonna get up there and paint it. I'll let him take the camera up so you guys can see it's like scuffed up really bad. Like every time we turn into the house, all I see is the scuffs. And I'm like, ah, cannot believe we did that. If you really like this color, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the color match is. It's right here. Just grab a screenshot of it and then take it to your paint store so maybe they can make it for you. Maybe I'll end up in the city Underneath all the flashing lights Maybe I'll be in a new country But when I go to sleep at night Oh, I'm just a country girl Since we're outside, I'm gonna go ahead and take this no more marking and spray like different corners of the house. Tiger loves to come out here and mark his spot and then George does. Um, it says indoor only, but I always use it outside too. I feel like it still works well. You can get one just for outdoors, but I just really like this brand. Um, so if you have any issues like indoor or outdoor for your pets, this is a really good product to grab. So you can make me do to ever forget my roots. Oh, I'm just a country girl in a real big world. You can catch me on 65. Driving to the mountain top. I don't make no stops. Yeah, this town was once all that I knew. I'll never forget my roots. I'll never forget my roots done a lot out here since we've moved in. So we've added all the landscaping, um, we've added lights, which I can show you like at night at one point, I think I show it more on Instagram. So all of this rock over here is like contained by our sidewalk. And so we have no issues. Whereas over here, um, Chase has to, that's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, over here, like when he mows or weed eats, it's really hard because it's grass and then rock because we didn't know what we wanted to do here. So I have an Instagram picture and I'll pop it up for you. So he's just laying these out right now to get sizing and we may have to adjust the flower bed so they fit right. Like right here, he's had to pull it up. Um, but we're gonna, we, he is gonna dig those in so they're flatter, but that way he can just like mow up next to it and weedy and not have to worry about like all the rocks. I really think this is gonna look so much cleaner and more crisp. Um, but what we're noticing is like when they put in our flower beds, nothing's straight. So we're having to straighten it up. So we need more rock here, but we're gonna have extra there because it's like laying on the rock. That's why it's angled. So we're gonna make sure the pavers are straight and then we'll fill in the rock around it. Faster, stronger, moving light speed, working.
Okay, I totally forgot to film it, but we had these plants. Okay, see what's right there. I'll go up closer here in a second. We had three on this side and three on this side. I didn't love them to begin with, <laughs> neither did Chase. And the way we reconfigured this, um, one of the stones or pavers was gonna go over it. So we ripped the three out down here. We ripped out the three down here. I'm probably gonna remove the one in front of the windows too and just replace those with something else because I don't know. I just don't like them. And I think we possibly killed them. Like, I don't think they survived last summer because um, everything else is coming back. And like, these have no green or anything on them. And they just look like dead hair coming out <laughs> of the yard. So I'm debating on pulling those yet. And like I said, I'll probably replace it. These down here, I'm not like on both ends. So they had like three down here in the corner. But where it was ending was like past our brick wall. So we took a whole paper out and just like adjusted. Oh my gosh, there's mayflies flying at my face. Um, adjusted everything down so it lines up better. He will have to cut a small piece for back there, but now it lines up more with the house. It goes down. And like I said, he's gonna dig all this in. We're just gonna eat lunch before he starts like the hard, hard work. And then we moved this in some so it kind of lines up. We couldn't make this perfect. like. If I had all the rock lined up, then the stones were way out. But if we line the rock up, or like that rock up with the edge of the stone, then we'd have to cut one of these, and I don't want like all these rectangles and then a square. I know that's me being super picky, but we're out here a lot. I'd rather that little square be back there. So I think it's gonna be perfect. You can really see it right now. I think once he's done burying it some, it's not gonna be as high. And then this is gonna make it so much easier um, to like mow an edge around versus up next to the rock. So this is gonna be one of those projects, it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna save him so much time when he's mowing all summer long. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so here's an update. You can tell these have been put in and they're level versus like those over there. So it helps like, you won't see it as much from the road, but it's also gonna stop like water from going back and forth and he can edge really easily than before. Um, right here, you can see how he's doing it. So he just kind of like cuts it and then removes the pavers. And now he's like taking out some of the dirt and sod and he's also having to work around like our landscape lighting, like the cords, so he doesn't cut those. But it's gonna be a full day. I'm just gonna show <laughs> you like little clips as we go, but is that the gist? You just like cut it so you know the edge. Yeah, I start right here. I just outline that, cut it all out, and then um, just kind of finesse it with this to get it level. And uh, yeah, I'll just be moving this wiring the whole time because right now the wiring's running right on the edge where the rock used to be. And so I'm just gonna push this back to run along the edge. Is it gonna be long enough? I think so. Okay. Yeah, and in worst case, I can go underneath the paver. Okay. So, yeah. So I'll keep updating you guys, but I know when I was sharing this over on Instagram, you guys wanted to see how and how it's gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna be really good. So step one, he's basically like cutting the edge right there so he knows where to end it. So he's just taking the flat shovel and just kind of poking at it so he can see that line. And then he's gonna go ahead and pick up the stones and remove them so he can start leveling out the area. When I'm dealing it, I'm dropping it. I'm the realist, no doubt in it. I'm about the biz, biz, count on it. The pressure, winning and pleasure, we go together. Fame and desire taking me higher, light as a feather. We want them to lay just really flat so it looks nice and level, and then if anyone's walking on them, they're not gonna wobble. So he's just trying to remove all that sod. Plus we don't want grass growing into our rocks that are already there. So it's just good to remove that layer and then flatten it out so the stones sit really evenly. If you buy it, I'm a 
break it. Better break nice. No, I'm alright. <laughs> Under the pressure, winning and pleasure, we go together. Fame and desire taking me higher, light as a feather. <laughs> And then once you're done doing that, you can just lay the stone and you are good to go. Um, this is just turning out so beautifully. I'm just so glad we finally got the motivation to get it done. Okay, he is almost done. He made it all the way down here to the end. We went and did a sauna and happy hour. <laughs> so all he has is about three more and then the half that we have to cut or not even a half, just a sliver down there. And then we'll push all the rock in. We're just making sure this is straight and it works before we do it. And then we're gonna hose everything off because it's got a lot of dirt on it. We had no idea we'd have this much extra like dirt and sod, which is nice because out here on the land, you just always need it somewhere. So we'll put that somewhere else. This is looking so much better. It's gonna be easier. So I love when we can do home projects that don't cost a lot of money. They may take some elbow grease, but it's so worth it when you're done, especially it's gonna save you time in the future. Like it's gonna save him every time he's mowing and edging and weed eating. So it's definitely a win-win and I am in love with like the look and the style of it. Just the right time. Now I'm ready to change that feels right. There was a lot of dirt that came up since we were moving so much around. So I'm gonna go ahead and hose it off so it looks nice and clean and fresh. So this was definitely for function, but I feel like it looks so good too. So I feel like we hit two different check marks with that one. It looks beautiful, it looks better, plus it's gonna function so much better for us, which is definitely a win-win. It is all finished. You can see it's still a little wet, but for the most part, it's done. It was very, very affordable. How much were the pavers? $1.88. $1.88 a piece. They even have cheaper ones, but those were just the ones that I chose. Um, but it just turned out so well. Finished it off. It's gonna make life easier when he's mowing and edging. I'll try to get another clip, like once it's completely dry, it's just in the, it's like 66 today, so. And now it's the evening, so like the sun's not strong, but once it dries, I'll get you a clip. Now we're gonna head inside. You guys have seen me organize a lot of my inside of my houses. This silverware drawer, I love. Like it's perfect, everything fits perfect, but if you see when I open and close the drawer, it moves. It's like there's just enough gap in there that it moves, but it's not enough gap that I can put another divider in. So I grabbed, or like bin in, so I grabbed this museum wax that everyone's talking about. And basically it's clear and it'll hold your drawers in place. So at first I tried it on the bottom, but since there's like a lip on the bottom of these organizers, it wouldn't like press against the bottom of my drawer. And I thought I really want them just close to like the drawer. So if you're seeing, I'm putting them right there, like on the back of the drawer, and then I'm gonna push them in so they stick. I'm still not a 110% sold on this. It's definitely working out a lot better, but you do kind of see the dots. Now that it's been like a week since I filmed this, I really don't notice them like I did day one, but just keep that in mind. If you're putting it up high, you are going to see it. 
never test my limits Nothing you say will fix it I'm too out of my mind You are in hype But I've got you this time It's definitely better, so I'm gonna call it a win for now. I wish I just had the organizers tight enough that I didn't have to use that. But like I said, this drawer, it's just not gonna work out that way. But it's nice when I open it now, everything's not like moving around and shifting and making a noise. But I have a few bins on this other side, so I'm gonna work on this real quick. There's not a ton, but it's enough they move around. So I just wanna get this side done quickly. So I'm here in the movie room, but I wanna show you the next project I wanna work on. So we already put this lock in here on this door. So what's nice is this is locked. So if someone tries to get in, even if the door's not locked, they can't. And then you just pull it out and open it like that. And then you can open the door. So I added that here because this is our pool bath. And so this goes to the outside. So um, like when people are over and all of that, um, I like to leave the store unlocked, but I don't want kids always like running in the space or if it's workers working on our house, they know they can come use the bathroom, but they can't like technically get inside. So I love having this lock that they can get to the bathroom, but they can't get inside. But I wanna add that to a few other exterior doors just for safety. So I ordered a few more, so I'll show you what these look like up close. So these do come in different colors, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you how Chase installs them, but I definitely want one on this door and then the door going into our garage. I just have a few spaces. You just have to make sure your door opens up the right way for it to work. But if it does, it's just really, really nice security to have. So we're gonna show you how it works. It screws in to like the inside of the door. So you have to open up the door to do it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so let George go out. <laughs> so it looks like this from the inside. So that's what it'll look like when you like open the door. One, two, three, four screws is what we'll do. So basically someone just can't kick in your door. It keeps that from happening. It's the whole purpose. Even if you have your door locked but they want to kick it open, this is going to prevent that from happening. So I just feel like they're really nice to have. Okay, we're gonna show you how it works. So he's gonna go outside. And even if the door's like, I'm not locking this right here, but I'm gonna lock this. And you're gonna be able to see, he can get it open, but not all the way. So now you can try. So like, he cannot get it open, even if this is unlocked. So I feel like it's nice to have. So now if we have all this locked, they're gonna have to get through all of this and we'll hear it by then. So I feel like it's just a really good thing to have in your houses. And like I said, this comes in different colors. <laughs> Now I have to decide if he can come in. This is what I do to him. So I'll lock the car doors and tell him he can't get in unless he does a dance. <laughs> okay, since we're kind of talking like home security, another thing you can do, we did it at our last few houses and we just forgot since we haven't been here a year yet. They put in these right here, but it comes with the tiniest screw. Like it's super short. Let him show you. 
Yeah. See how short that is? So it can be kicked in really easily. So we're gonna get the really long ones and put them in on all of our like exterior doors. You don't have to do it like the doors inside your house, but we like to switch all of those out. Before he drills it in, I just wanted to show you the difference of what we use. Like look how much longer that is. So it's gonna get deeper into the wall or the wood instead of this small one. And that's such an easy fix. So like that, it really does not take long to do. We did this throughout our entire house, like on the exterior doors. I didn't film it just cause you guys know what we're doing, but I did want to show that for you. The next project I wanted to work on was getting this rug stuck down in here. Um, I have really enjoyed having it here in our laundry room, but it does slide a lot. And all of our guests come in here to get drinks from the fridge. I just didn't want someone to slip and fall, especially like a grandparent or something we're about to be hosting. And so I just just wanted to go ahead and get that stuck down with these like rug tape corners now these were made for like a square or rectangle rug but they work fine like on a round one I just kind of put them and stuck them down I'm gonna link these down below in my description box because they are so helpful to have with your rugs and I feel like they don't leave any like sticky residue on your floor when you pull them up they're easy to pull up but it does keep your rug from like moving around Moving on to the next thing. So in here, I ended up with tons of seasonal racks just with the way the lighting worked. And I will say kind of when I was designing this closet, I thought Chase would be back there and I would be over here, but then it just worked out where I went over there. So Chase only has one seasonal rod, which is right here. And he uses the top of his for storage where I don't and I have one, two, three <laughs> that I'm not even using. Um, so the reason they didn't give him one, let me stand back here. He has one right here, but right here, if they put it in, it would hit the chandelier. If they put one right here, it would hit this, which I added that to. So I've never been a fan of this light. Like I love the arms of it. I didn't love the center part. Um, so we're gonna take this down anyways. Like even if I loved it, it just doesn't make sense because we have all the can lights. We're gonna take this down, put a can line in and then move one of my seasonal rods over here so he can actually get down his dress shirts when he needs them. And it's all for free. Like it's not gonna cost us anything. Um, so I will link these can lights. They are on Amazon, um, just in case you're needing some. But yeah, we're just gonna flip flop this out and make it just a little more functional for us. First step is he has a ladder in here. We don't know if this one's gonna be tall enough, but we're gonna try it first. And now he's gonna be turning off the lights. So it may get a little dark in here. Luckily we have this window and one over there shining. And then we'll get that flipped out. Okay, he got it down. Our ceilings feel so much taller now. I'm having him turn on the lights to see if it's gonna be bright enough without adding a can light there. It's pretty bright. Cause we have like a cover we could cap that off with. Um, I'm just trying to decide if we need it or not. Okay, I was helping hold the ladder cause it was getting wobbly so I didn't film that but he got that one put up there. So if I would have known we were gonna do this I would have had that put like in the middle but oh, it's back on. So we're good. There's a nice little line of lights up there, but typically you don't see it just because it's so far up there. You're just looking like right here. So we've never moved our seasonal rods before, but it looks adjustable. Like my area is smaller than his, but like the rod up there looks like it expands, but he's saying there's like, what, is there 12 screws on each side? Like six? Yeah, 12 on this, 12 on that. So there's like six in the front on this, six on the back six on the front, six on the back. So there are a lot of, gonna be a lot of holes <laughs> we'll be patching, but he can't get to any of this without a ladder. And that's just, I don't know, that's just tough. 
when I have one, two, three that I'm not even using. So that's why it's home projects. We'll get it done. We'll be glad it's done. But you just don't know. Like it's one of those things we didn't know when we moved in that we needed it that way. And I don't see myself ever going up to this whole like level. If I do, it would be like this one. Maybe that one, but I know I'll never put it there. I noticed these are on Amazon. So if you have a tall closet, maybe you even have like rods already up there, kind of like these, you can replace it. It's not too bad. Yeah, not bad. And then right here you can see it will expand. Let me see if my camera will focus. See, we can just pull this out and put it in his section. It's gonna be really cool. Got some holes to fill and up. now my purse isn't gonna be covered up by the rods. <laughs> Okay, I'm having Chase measure from the bottom of this shelf up here, which I could even take that out. Wouldn't pearl my wedding dress look so good right there? <laughs> that would be really cool if I could get my wedding dress in that. Yeah. It's about 56 inches. Which is what? 56, four foot eight. Okay. So we'd have to end up taking like that out too for her to stand there. Yeah. Well, Not a home project for today, but maybe in the future. <laughs> That's something to think about. Or if I could have her like framed in something, mm -hmm. we could take the shelf out, frame it, and then add in like a light from above to shine on her. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be a that cool be spot cool. for her. I haven't found a good spot for her in this house. Yeah. My office is at the front. You guys keep saying, why isn't she in my office? At the last house, it was in a bedroom. Here, it's a little different since it's like the first room when you walk in our house, like you see. I don't know. And it's by our front window. So someone looks in, it looks like there's someone standing there in a dress. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels different in this space. So eventually, I'll be coming up with a creative way to like maybe put her there. Now I just gotta make sure this expands wide enough so I'll test yeah. it. So that's the size of yours. Man, yours is a lot wider over here. Man. Yeah, I hope it's long enough. We'll find out. Ready? I think it got squeezed in because it's still. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might have That looks really in. narrow. Looks like it's gonna work. Yay! That was not bad at all. No. I mean, coming from the person standing down here <laughs> holding it, it the camera. I mean, I think the worst part is just gonna be filling the holes and painting them, and we do that oh. all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> that's nothing. But now he can. Ready to test it? Yep. Perfect. So then you Perfect. just hang your clothes on it, and then you can push it up and down as needed. The rod two is adjustable, so like Chase can leave his shorter because he can reach it. Yeah. Like when I had clothes up here, you twist it and pull down and it would hang kind of like in between like where my hangers are, but that way I could reach it and pull it down. Yeah. But so you can like, like adjust down. yeah, so that adjusts to your height so you can grab it. But since I don't need it, I have it pushed up. So it adjusts from left to right. This rod does, and then this does up and down. So if you're looking into ordering them, but now we gotta get his yeah. clothes organized. I was say, I gotta figure out what I want.
I didn't film it, but we did like putty the holes and sand it down and paint it. It just does not take long at all. I feel like we're pros at like filling holes in this house because I love rearranging and moving things around. Um, so now that space looks perfect. Did not take long at all. I felt like that's the best move we made. So Chase has more like usable storage on his side. We finished the closet. It just feels so much bigger not having that chandelier hanging down. So I love that. I love that my purse isn't being blocked now. Eventually, like I'm gonna think about it. I may have these removed if I'm not gonna use it. Maybe just that one. And then if I need extra space, I have it up there. Um, but here's my side of the closet. But we do like share the dresser. So everything's looking good over there but his is definitely like the biggest improvement for sure but I really do love that we took that chandelier down so it's nice when you can do a home project and it not cost you any money and it functions and feels and looks better so I feel like this was a huge winning project we got done today now we are going to dye our pond blue it's safe it's safe for the fish you can get it on Amazon, so I'll link it too, but it's amazing. It's gonna turn this dirty brown pond into like an ocean. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's, it's pretty crazy what it does. I'll have to do an update because it takes a few days to spread out, but I thought I'd share this just in case you have a pond that you could do this to. This looks so cool when you pull it in and it doesn't stay this dark. I'll say that. I wish it did because then it would feel like nice and beachy. But once it like all spreads out, it just gives it a pretty blue tone instead of like that muddy water look. So I'm going to show you a clip here in a second, but I'm always so happy with how it turns out. So we came out about like an hour later and it's hard to tell on camera, but you can tell right there. It's just a prettier blue. And then if you look off to the right, it still has a little brown because it's not completely mixed in yet. And then Tiger is loving the stones. He does not like being on grass, so he takes the stones like its little walkway. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I use them too, especially when I'm watering so my feet don't get wet and muddy. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you found a home project that you want to do, or maybe it motivates you to work on something in your house. But I just appreciate you being here. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.